remember that It's the number one spot Remember that It's the number one spot Remember that If you at the number two Nobody remember you It's the number one spot What's poppin' crackin' second, baby? It's your boy QUE from the war with the number one spot, man. Hey, welcome back to another uh, spectacular episode right now, man. It's definitely an honor and a pleasure to introduce my next guest, man. You know what I'm talking about? I, well, I call him the, uh, the man behind the madness, man, because he's a part of a lot of y'all favorite TV shows, man. He's got uh, one of the number one uh, uh, magazines in the city right now, and he, he's your photographer's photographer. You know what I'm talking about? We got the one and only, man, Elliot Gidry in the building, man. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's due, man. You know feel me? Saying? I gotta give a stand to God. Now, you know I appreciate that you know too, man. I'm light skin. I get rosy easy. You know <laughs> nah, it's all good, man. I appreciate you taking out your time, man, to sit down with us, man. man Tell us your story. You know what I'm talking about. So, uh, with that being said, man, just give us a small background check on you, man. Present to some, introduce to others who you are, where you're from. I mean, like where you want to start? How you want to? You know what I'm saying? What you want to know? Yeah, just <laughs> shoot. We can start there, man. Just like I say, you know, let them know who you are yeah, and, man. you know, where you're from, where I know, you You know, from born and raised in the H, you feel me? Third Ward. The third Ward, to be exact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. You know what I'm saying? My name is Elliot Gidry. I've uh, done a multitude of wonderful things. Yeah. And I will forever, you know, magnify his name. For straight that, up. You know straight up. Uh, photographer, videographer. I uh, have a, uh, a magazine that I one that I own and another one that I'm working with, um, Houston Trend and Texas Trend. Already, uh, um, you know what I'm saying. And then from there, bro, it's just it's expanded into a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, you know? yeah. I had to laugh. Um, not too long ago, <laughs> it was uh, you know how you be having like. Thoughts and shit when you're a kid. It's like, man, I want to be doing this. Shit. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you can almost see that shit clear. Yeah. Police officer said, fire, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, but see, here's the wild shit. I'm, Jesus Christ, I can't, uh, I can't remember exactly how old I was, but I was at my dad's house and I just I had the, uh, the East 99 uh, joint. Already, the bone, bone, you know thugs and harmony. Yeah. So once I had my CD play, I'd be, I'm, I'm stuck with them boys. Yeah. But, I was thinking like, dog, it'd be wild to put artists on. Like, like in, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. dog, man, I, where, where do these guys come from? How, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just discovering that. And it was just, what if I could do that for people? Yeah. Like, what if I could have a label and do something like that? You yeah. Know? And so, and this now it's like, I'm actually working with artists and doing different things. It's yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. That's actually what's going on. And you're doing, I mean, like I say, doing a lot of big things, man. Like I say, the man behind the scenes that, that helped put on a lot of, like I say, major productions, you know what I'm saying, right now as far as uh, podcasts to, uh, you know, to TV shows to, uh, like I even seen. And what TV show you talking about, man? Uh... Well, I guess I meant more so uh, like how you did the, what was the 93.7? Oh, yeah, yeah, with, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, DJ, with, uh, DJ Chantel. Chantel. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, That yeah. was, so, that was, uh, Chantel, okay. yeah, well, I guess it was, I guess it was more like a podcast, yeah. too, but it was like more, I guess maybe a ra radio show since she is, you know, is with the radio and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, I appreciate that, though. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, like, yeah. It was just, uh, you know what I'm saying, me saying I was able to do something. And I'm also trying to figure that out at the same time. That's really what it... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. Yeah. They let me in this radio station, bet. I'm yeah. going to you try to figure out how to make this the liveest I can make it. Yeah. And I'm in there shooting with iPhones, Android. Oh, everything. Boy, everything. Uh, everything, Android, man. Whatever works, man. I can find Yes, sir. I'm going to set it up on whatever tripod yeah. and... Because I knew how to edit, so I was like, okay, all I need is these angles. Right, right, and right, right. And, and like that's it, and just kind of, you know, match it up as uh, best you can, you know, color grade-wise or whatever to make it, make it match. 
And that's I how was, you gotta. Yeah. I was king of making shit go black and white. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, nah, straight up. Hey, that's the same here, though. If it don't come out exactly how it may, man, throw that black and white feel to on that mug. Be like, oh, man, that's live, man. You know you? I like how y'all did Yeah, yeah. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know what, I, what I had to go through. You don't know. No, nah, for real. I done been there and done that, man. For, forgot to turn the mics on and, oh, you know, the, God, all them, God, them growing pains. But, you know what I'm saying? You got to go through that. Yeah, go exactly. That. Because to get, if you don't, right. then you don't learn. Yeah. Because now it's like I don't leave the house without buku batteries, buku yeah. memory cards. Yeah, everything. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? like, right on. It's, it's, I've, been in, I've been in those situations where I've had to ask, you know, thank God for Fred. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank God for I Kim. Thank huh. God for Oh, Steve straight Ray. up. Straight up. Thank God straight for up. my boy Quest. Yeah. Jesus Christ. My boy Quest sent me down when we were at... I had just, I had a little Fuji film. Yeah, I just come took a, on, Took man. me a class at TSU. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just changed my major from radio broadcasting, communications to uh, television production. Yeah. So I took this class, fell in love with uh, the photography. Yeah. Went and bought me this little Fuji film because <laughs> I just wanted to try and figure this right out. Right on. You know, um, my boy, uh, <laughs> my boy Uncle Jumbo. Went out with me on my very first photo shoot. Yeah. We're just downtown, just shooting. Yeah. Um, and I fell in love with it. Yeah. You know what I just, mean? Like, I was already kind of messing with, like, I was, I'm a nerd, mm -hmm. you know? So I had Photoshop when we needed the crack codes. Straight uh, up. You know Straight what I mean? Up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So in my mind, if I could figure out how to get my own images and edit those. Yeah. I would think I would have a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, creative control over mm. it versus trying to find something on Google and, and do Yeah, like right, right. You know what I mean? Um might get flagged or anything. I mean, like, yeah. Doug, I've always been gorilla. Yeah. Very, very gorilla. So anything I was working on, if it was if I had to pull an image from Google, shit, that's what the fuck I did. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm, yeah. Can, can we curse? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you good. You good. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah, My nah, bad. you good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, nah, that's that's just what what needed to be done. Yeah. You know, I'd look for this image. Okay, cool. And then this could build out the rest of the flyer. Yeah. Um, yeah, nah, that, that, yeah. That's where it started at, though. That cut, that cutting, using that pen too, the way it was a lasso. I mean, when I, when I started, but, you know, uh, whatever you got to do to cut it out and, you know what I mean? To I, make it look, see, the goal back then, well, at least, you know, it was to make it look different from the, the file that you, that you originally Got it from, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? To yeah, add no, all I mean, these well, extra, yeah, I mean, do, yeah. doing whatever it is that you did to it to flip it. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, you Change know, whether the, it was putting the text on you, you put a uh, this gradient filter on it, whatever you. Was yeah, doing, yeah, to do, it. yeah, to make it work, to make it work. So you know that's pretty much where your uh, your photography journey started at TSU. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, man, I wish I could remember the professor's name, dude. It was really, um, I mean, straight up and down. I was terrible at school, like, you know what I'm saying, academically wise. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you actually uh, took up a major, like, in, in photography? No, no, no. So, like, um, so I went into TSU, uh, wanting to study uh, communi uh, communications radio. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you said that. Because I wanted to be that, a radio yeah, that's, I would, Yeah. I would, like, I used to hear Robert Scorpio, Hatter, you know. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, right on, show, right on. It was like, yeah. man, I want to do what they are doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, heck, I would record the uh, 97.9 The Box shows. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hatter and uh, Mac in the afternoon. Um, Shelly Way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that was, you know what I'm saying, that was life. Yeah, yeah, that was life, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tape recording those boys on the uh, on the uh, double tape. Cassette. Oh yeah, I read it. I read it. Yeah. That was. Yeah, now nah, I'm sure that that was that was a highlight. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and got you in, inspired. So, you know, because you can of course even you know utilize that till this day. Considering we do have a podcast and you mm -hmm. know all, uh, online radio and stuff like that now. So. It, it just plays uh, hand in hand with everything. Yeah. So uh, started to uh, what was what? Do you remember like your first? I guess big photo shoot, at least that you felt. It was like first big photo shoot. Yeah. I'm sure you fast forward after you the major. You know, bump your head a few times now. Somebody called you and was like, 
man, I want to pay you ten million to. <laughs> I'm be honest. Like early, so my cousin David has always had me involved in anything he could. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, like in this particular campaign, he was working with Moet, and he needed uh, shots of uh, some Houston influencers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he had Paul Wall and Slim Thug, you know what I'm saying, on the campaign. Mm -hmm. So we drove this big-ass bottle probably up to here. Mm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on. Of actual... Of, yeah, uh, it was a big-ass bottle of rosé. Yeah. You know what I'm Damn. saying? Damn. Uh, you gonna make me find this photo real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm like it's 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 wild to see, like Paul is holding this thing like this. You know what I'm saying? I got one with this thing sitting on Slim's desk, mm -hmm. and he had like this gold H. You know mm -hmm. what I'm mm -hmm. Now, never been to these guys' houses before, and I don't think I really, you know, what I'm saying, got to know these guys prior to those moments. So me seeing Paul Wall, like. Just, hey, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm in your house and we're about to take some photos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then walking in Slim's house. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ever been to Slim's crib, like, and this is before he did all these changes. Yeah. It was just like, a, it's a sight to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's what you aspire to want to have. Right, yourself. absolutely. You know what absolutely. I mean? Like, the moment you walk in, like, like it's just beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's fucking beautiful. Slim, your house is beautiful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. That, that, that photo shoot, uh, you know what I'm saying, was was super dope. Like, to see, to be able to do that. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, David, for, yeah. uh, for taking me on that. Absolutely, um, absolutely. But that wasn't even like nothing for the magazine. Um, Jesus, dude, like. Uh, so, so when did that? Uh, so when did that that start to transpire as far as the uh, Houston Trend magazine? That, so that's a dope story. Yeah. Um, I was going to this uh, this event on Tuesdays called Tab Tuesdays. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cody P, Dina Dean, Jessica Vickery. Um, Jessica Vickery. You know about, uh, Hollywood Peter. Uh, there's a bunch of other motherfuckers that was on that bitch that was holding it down. Uh, DJ Explicit was the DJ in that thing. Um, yeah, fuck. Okay, if I, if I can't remember... I'm bringing it on my, on my no, mind, no, not my no, heart. No, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? But every Tuesday, I got to see a dope artist from this city. Yeah. Be in that motherfucker from D Lo, Dope Beasy. Oh yeah. Jeff yeah. Freeman. Um Lee Line. Whomever yeah, it you was. Name and it. they were killing it. Like every Tuesday night. Yeah. They were killing it. And not only did they have these artists performing, they were bringing in major artists like Jay Cole and folks mm. just to come see these guys. Mm. Mm. Jay Cole ain't performing. Yeah. He's watching. He's you know in, the, in the crowd. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's you know a lot. I mean? Just there watching these young, you know what I'm saying, talents kill it. Yeah. And, you know, at the time, and this is, and this was a whole nother thing too. This is high. Fuck, I just remembered this. Um, <laughs> I tried to get on with the uh, with the radio station. Mm -hmm. um, this was right around the time Trey had that whole situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm on Twitter. Now that I'm talking mad shit to the box. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> mad shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to the box. It was hot. That was, yeah, because it was, it was like, dog. You know what I'm saying? When in at that moment, and you see, you see, when you see what, you know what I'm saying? What you see, yeah. it's like, damn, y'all did them like that. Mm, mm. That's like cold. That? Seeing the inner workers of how it really happened, yeah, it's cold. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, not even like that. I'm just talking like when you first heard the news. Yeah. Like, oh, gotcha, you know gotcha. When you yeah, first right heard on. It, it's yeah. like you know, you're, you're. It's like, dang. Yeah. So, with me seeing that, it's like at any given moment, the the way for artists to get known. 
it can be cut off. Mm. So mm. right then and there, it was, okay, I got to figure out a lane yeah. where I can make this happen. Mm. Mm. And that's really how, you know what I'm saying, the idea behind Houston Trends. I'm on the phone talking to my cousin because I had just gotten this nasty letter from, from the box saying if I mention them on Twitter one more time, it's going to be some problems. Serious. Serious. Come on, so you actually you know really oh, yeah, yeah, no, ruffled some feathers. Oh, you had well, this, because yeah. it was like, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to, if, if you don't, if, if I know you don't know what's, what's, what, you know what I'm saying, has been going on, and you just talking mad shit. Yeah. Realistically, I don't want to hear from your ass no more either. Already. Already. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now you might have, you might have some influence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been given, you downloaded an app and you've had a voice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, I feel you. I feel you. Stop that. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. as, as time grew, I got to know those folks over at the box personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. JQ, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Brandy Garcia before, you know what I'm saying? That situation. Uh, uh, Debbie Dev when, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. I remember her. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? JJ on the mic. Uh, Terry, even Terry is just such a beautifully sweet woman, and she wants to educate everybody on what it is they need to do when they're getting involved in this industry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do it, you know, if you do it the right way, you're gonna find the right way. Yeah, right on, you know right I mean? on, right on. And that's really what it is. Yeah. Uh, and that's the information she's trying to, but as I got to know these folks, it's like, oh man, I really wish. I wasn't such a dumbass young when I was younger. I, I could have still felt the way I felt, but should have handled it a lot different. So right. nonetheless, right. Um, God, no I've gotten, no gotten off no all topics, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's where like, I wanted to create a lane for artists. Yeah. Because at any given moment, this main line we had can get shut down. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Based on, you know what I mean, a situation. Yeah. Man, so, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. So, you know what I mean? So who you uh So the first person I interviewed was Trey. I was just I was just gonna say, yeah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Pulled up on the uh I was living in the tray. Mm-hmm. Uh so he was like, Man, just go to the to the Frenchies and you know what I'm saying? We so how you did you had like a little record or you, I you phone on the oh you used your phone back then? Yeah, oh okay, okay, okay. All I do is set my phone down and we'll just talk. Yeah. I'll ask you some, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, just like what we're doing now. Right, right, right. And then I'll just go back, listen and to it, and then, edit you know it saying? and write it and write it up. Yeah. Now, I'm terrible at writing. Yeah. I just got off. Yeah, nah, right? I feel you. I feel you. So, Same. <laughs> it was, whether it was Cecilia, Nikki, uh, Diana, when I was, uh, like, we were dating at the time. Mm-hmm. So she helped me out a lot. Uh, you know what I'm saying? In the, uh, in, definitely in those early stages. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Javon was writing with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jordan. Um, so you had a whole like, team. Bro, like, but yeah. it was just off the strength of love. Right you know on, I mean? right it's on. Like, we see what you're doing. You're a nice guy. We're going to try to help you figure this out. You know what I mean? Um, and But I also never wanted Houston Trent to be their end all, you know, be all. Right on. Like use this. Use what whatever you gain from this space. Yeah, yeah. Use this as a stepping stone to get you where you really absolutely, want to go. absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you know, and uh, each of them are doing their own things. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm super happy for everybody. That yeah, has, absolutely. Help me with this journey. You know what I'm saying? And you help help was, make that happen. Like you say, catapulted them to. You know what I'm saying? To go on and. And do bigger, you know, bigger and better things. All right, bro. It was just, it's, it's that was, that was a time period. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was talking to my boy Devon uh, the other day, and he brought up to me. Uh, so Corey used to do uh, the first cover I we did. Co- yeah, that boy Corey. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. The uh, Just Britney joint. Yeah. He did the cover shoot. Corey, uh, yeah. T- Terry. Corey Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? But we were just talking about like how we don't believe that there was anybody. Prior to him doing those outside freestyles that he was doing with context. True. Yeah, where well, he was kind of doing the drop the mics or doing the yeah, like, yeah, the like yeah. We don't think there was anybody. Yeah, that yeah, I remember that. To that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So what Corey was doing with context was was helping artists, and you know what I'm saying in that way. Like, mm-hmm. 
still to this day. Yeah. And he will use that video to yeah. show y'all, man, I'm really that motherfucker. Yeah, straight up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, can't, like, N.C. Kane got some killer freestyles with context. Mm -hmm. O&E, uh, Hunted, um, Jesus Christ, Milo, yeah, I, I'm running out of... He's got so many people on context. Yeah. Listen, if, if you just want to know who you should have been paying attention to, check out context. Content, what's contact? That's what this it's, is. Uh, his... K-H-N-T-X-T. Oh, okay. YouTube. Oh, okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? Context. Um, there's okay. a bunch of classics on there. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the the show ran his course, and he kind of was getting somewhere else uh, creatively. Yeah. But some dope shit there. Yeah, you know no, I'm going to have to get on that one myself. Shit. I'm gonna have to get on that one myself. So, yeah, and and what I liked about uh, Houston Trend that you did with Houston Trend is that you did, uh, you know, like physical magazines. Bro, that was because I wanted one. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like I was a fan of the source. I was a fan of the, like I, for me, in school, yeah, reading retention was terrible for me. But I can open up this magazine. Mm. And remember what mm. I read. Yeah, yeah, I can dig that. Yeah, yeah, I like, can dig that. Yeah, that's true. Like, cause I well, I'm kind of like that. Like, well, I listen to audio books. You know what I'm saying, mostly. But like, with an audio book, you may have to listen to that mug 16 times. Well, I mean, shit, get... you, you might be doing, you might be doing 10 other things. Yeah, yeah. Time. Why you, yeah, yeah why you like, listen to it? But like, just for reading audio books, you really gotta stop what you're doing. Yeah, and just exactly. Intake. And yeah, yeah, and, you know I mean? and absorb that information, and I feel like you can retain it better yeah. that, that way. Yeah, no, because if you're doing, if you're editing over here, you got this happening, yeah. this happening, nah, bro, you're not going to be able to really, really retain what it is you're trying to get. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, um, I mean, you can do it, think of it like this. If you keep repeating that same chapter, eventually. Yeah, exactly. It'll start sinking in. You, know you can just mean? start regurgitating and running, and running it out. Well, with that being said, then, um, who, like, what was one of your most, I guess, interesting stories that you that you uh, you gathered on? Uh... Man, people may, I don't know. <laughs> Getting to know Guyton. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Shout out to that boy Q Guyton, man. Like, it's just, dog, I, I've, the moment, uh, the moment I, like, came to mm -hmm. know, uh, uh, knowing him was, mm -hmm. We were at the Dobizi concert. He mm -hmm. said he passed me by before. And I think that's where I first met you at, too. We didn't probably formally introduce it's, it's, ourselves. It's, 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 but I think when we was in the green room, like we was in the in the, in the backstage, it and we was, be, it was all, I be. think so. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I got this real bad way of, if I'm there doing something, yeah. I'm, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm always And at like this, this time, so. you, you had the low cut. Oh yeah, you yeah, yeah, had yeah, a, yeah, 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 had a hat, of course, at that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boys, boys had the fade. Yeah, I already, I already. Oh, um, but yeah, yeah, cute guy. But yeah, back. so yeah. he passed me his album Blue Heart, and at this time, like CDs didn't stick with me, dog. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of artists that was doing their thing and would pass you their CDs. Get in my car. I play through the first few tracks, cause I would hear record record execs talk like this shit. You right. Know what I'm saying so. It, 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 it instills in my mind. This is how you're supposed to treat music that you feel like, you know, doesn't doesn't uh, resonate. Yeah. So, if it didn't stick with me, <laughs> you <ain't> freeze me. <laughs> Two eighty eight. Boy, before they did that construction on Two eighty eight, I know they saw CDs up and down. The I know it. Well, I friends, can, man, boy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not going to listen to Trash. that. Trash. You know what I'm saying? Trash. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> but it was just because I didn't want to take up space in my car. Now, yeah, sounds, right on. That sounds like an asshole thing to right. say, and it, and it really is an asshole thing to do, but, hey, throwing somebody to see the yacht, but... If it ain't what it is, if, it ain't what it is. If you can't vibe with it or rock with it, or if it doesn't resonate with you, it's like, Why? hey, I appreciate your... Yeah, voice. yeah, exactly. Why am I holding but on to this? I can't hold on to this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't. But I played that Blue Heart. I played the first track. And, and it sounds so melodic. It's mm. just beautiful in my charger. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Mm. And you know, what I'm saying this is when his record, this is fucking six minute record for no reason. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so I get, I get to at least three minutes. All right. I mean, I'm, so 
And then that South Side run on Choppers here. Mmm, mmm. Back in 93, yep. In, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, I read it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the way he was flipped, like, it just, everything made sense. Yeah. So I had to get to know this guy. Yeah. Like, yo, this shit jams. Yeah. This jams. The presentation, like, he had the cardboard joint. You know what I'm saying? It looked like. What um my beautiful dark twisted fantasy uh you know what I'm saying the case in like yeah I know what you're saying yeah I remember that like, I remember that like, uh, I'm that some case. care in this right you know exactly I mean? yeah there's some care in this he designed it himself he had them hoes printed himself mm-hmm. it was like this it's like fucking Master P right here yeah straight up <laughs> you know what I'm saying straight up and and he con- and continues to to you know what I'm saying do incredible things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nah, dude, like getting to know him, his story, you know, graduating, being an engineer, working at a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like everyday job. Uh-huh. And then it's uh-huh. like, sorry. Yeah. I gotta go. Your journey here is no longer needed. Yeah, that's cold. You know what I'm that's saying? That's cold. Yeah. And now you gotta figure shit out. Right. Right. Like, it's, and it's tight. Yeah, but yeah. You pull through that shit. Yeah, it started the media block and... You know what I mean? And it yeah. is doing tremendous right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, three locations. Yeah, Tiger come on, man. One in Carson come Canada. on. You know what I'm saying? He and the twins is... They doing it. Killing it. You know no, what I mean? Straight up. So, that to me... Um, and when I, I wrote that story, like, yeah. I wrote his and I wrote Dobeezy's. Um, and I think... Yeah, I think that, well, that's what we were saying. Yeah, it was that uh, Dobeezy concert. I think yeah. when I yeah you like, suited up, what was suited and suited and booted. And what do you came through real player for the shoot? Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. So, but those uh, so I did the cover to the Sauce Twins issue. I did the mm. cover to B King Rogers. Mm. Uh, pretty much everything after the Sauce Twins issue. Um, so the only two I didn't shoot was Just Britney and Slim Thug. Gotcha. That was. Corey Terry and then Michael Ortiz. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Shout out to Michael Ortiz. Oh, yeah, Michael Ortiz, yeah. He was shooting the video. Use those yeah. photos, bro. Well, and back when I was doing the digital joints, like, so I used to do digital covers. Yeah. Mm. And we would do, like, these little articles. You know what I'm saying? So to kind of make it still have that magazine feel, yeah. we did a feature on you. I did a magazine cover for it. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And gotcha. A physical, a physical. No, but you no, know no, you're no, the digital. No, still I, the digital. I didn't start doing physical joints until Corey was like, dog. What are you doing? Yeah. You can go to Kinko's and get these boys just printed. Man, is that where you went? Yeah, bro. What? Like, so how you did the binding and all that? I'm so just no, 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 no. So, so, no, no. We used to just print the cover. Oh, oh okay. I got, just you. Just okay. I got you. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm moving too fast. I got you. So, like, Michael Ortiz got one um, in, in his office. Uh, I know I gave Trey one. King Henry got one. that We, we, we would just print, you know what I'm saying, just to kind of... Yeah, yeah, but make still, it, though, that was, that was brilliant, though. That was yeah, brilliant. Yeah, nah, bro, like, Corey had the vision, you know what I'm saying? Corey yeah. was real key in, you know what I'm saying, helping me move out of the the online space to actually becoming print. Right. You know oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. The the site I got my stuff printed at was Mad Cloud. Yeah. He showed me that website. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what I mean? So Yeah. I, I already know. And you used to have to send, send them off to get... To get like all yeah, the so, pages so, uh, printed. You know so I just I would design each page, um, get the PDF, upload it to Mad Cl- Mad Cloud. My bad, my allergies. Yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, upload it to Mad Cloud, and then within two weeks I would have a copy. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. That's not bad. You know what That's what I'm not bad. So yeah, to be, you could still do this shit very independent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and yeah. I would try to use as many original images as I could. Yeah. But because I was independent, that really being published by, you know what I'm saying, said published, uh, you know, licensing and published company. Yeah. I got away with a lot. Yeah. Now, nah, you, and I don't know what your marketing and your promotion was like, though, but you did some hella, mar- I mean, for me to, eat, you know what I'm saying, to okay. find out about it. Like, I was like, man, I was like, Houston Dream Magazine, man. Nah, bro, because this, this, this. it was you know it was it was only a few of us at the time. Mm. It was too loud. It was mm. Uh, mm. it was me. 
I think there was another one, but I came, we came out of the blog era mm -hmm. together. Right on, right you know on, I mean? right on. And I hated calling the website a blog. I hated yeah. calling it a blog. <laughs> like, don't call my website a blog. It's an online magazine. Folks right. are looking at me like, what's the difference? Yeah. It's the quality of shit that you're going to get on mine. Yeah. Versus the trash you're going to get. Like, I, to me, I, I related blogs to um, Shade Room to... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. The T, whatever the hell. Uh, yeah, I know what you're uh, saying. You know what yeah, saying? yeah. Um, they just putting that gossip and. Yeah, so to me, uh, like, that, those were blogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't. And as I became much more educated and started to see websites like Day in the Dream, um, I'm saying that was T Pipe and Brandon Cladwell, and then they had a whole team of elite writers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just the best writers in the city. Day in the Dream had them. Yeah. Hands down. You know what I'm saying? They so, were killing it. Not to cut you off, but what what did the uh, the Houston Train Magazine consist of? It was, of course, the okay. the cover story, the articles um, for those artists, and then what else did you have? So we had we uh so I had a few columns. We had uh, Breaking Trends, which is where I would introduce new artists. Hmm. Um, like I had uh, Buddy Rowe in there once. I had okay. uh, um, B Honey in there. I had okay. Brianna McCall in there. Um, under Gravity, uh, Rose with Thieves, Sobe Lash, MC BZ mm. was in the first mm. issue. Mm. MC BZ and, uh, and Tim Ned, I mm. think, were in the first issue. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted a space where I can always introduce new artists. Man, that's like, loud. Yeah. Like in their, in like that one year, two year kind of like span of, you know, when they were really kind of doing stuff. Either right. they had a project out. Right. Or was working on the first one. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's that's where I wanted that space to be. Um, so oh. then it was the cover. Uh, I had a a seven one three column, and mm. it would just be um, seven things you need to know. One mm. place you need to visit. Mm. Uh, mm. That's things dope. You always need that's to have dope. Them. I like that. Um, that's dope. I got that's another David uh, Anderson uh, piece of inspiration. Gotcha. Seven one three VIP. He was like, man, use. What I was doing with my newsletter for, um, so I had that. Yeah, I uh, had around H time, and that was our restaurants. Mm, you know okay, okay, um, yeah. Jordan Lee was really essential to the around H town part. Yeah, um, he was. You know, what I'm saying he's a connoisseur of the fine dineries. Yeah, so he is going to know which spots to be at. Like, gotcha, gotcha. Um, like he had Maxie's on there. He had uh, Kitchen Seven One Three. Uh, and a few other spots. Yeah. Jesus, I need to go back through some of them. So, so what's the so so what separates uh, the latest magazine, Texas Trend, from what so, Houston Trend was? Uh, Texas Trend is going to be something that's more directed on stories. Mm, um, mm. Time, so, like, so time this magazine. Is, so this is a powered by Gas Guides magazine. Yeah. Okay. Um, and kind of how this went was, shout out to uh, Devon Douglas, um, you know what I'm saying, who was like, he and uh, the owner of um, Gas Guys at the time mm -hmm. um, were trying, like, the owner was trying to figure out, I need a media company. Yeah. Um, and not just needing one, but I want to be able to kind of tell the stories we want to tell. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if we can kind of control the narrative. For you know what I'm saying, for our voices. Right. Um, what would that look like? Yeah. So Devon was like, you know, if you're trying to put together a magazine, then there's one guy that you need to talk to. Yeah. I, I, that that flooded my heart with love just hearing that. Like, there's one guy you need to talk to, and you come to find me. Come on. Like, come on. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up, man. You, and I, I think mean, when he told me this, bro, I think I might have cried on this man's couch. <laughs> mm, <laughs> like, mm. dog. Nah, like, because when you do something for so long. Right. And immediately you don't see. Right, you know right. What I'm saying? Don't see it ba uh, coming back. Right. Um, not just in, like, you know, folks recognizing you since, but in a financial sense. Yeah, you yeah, I mean? right, right, it's right. It's like, dog. I'm, I'm busting my ass for this, and the things that I'm doing is a supporter-supported 
situation. Right. So right. if I don't have, if I'm not selling, if you guys aren't buying the ads for this, yeah. I'm spending my own brand. Yeah, right. And right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's so, but at the time when I was putting this stuff out, I had a regular job. So right. I'd come home, design the magazine. And, you know what I'm saying, I was running on my credit card. Mm. You know what I'm saying, just mm. paying for these magazines. Man, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> been there, done that, and still doing that. <laughs> so what do you feel, in, the, in just speaking along them lines, what do, you, what do you feel, I guess, keeps you motivated to continue to, 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 to keep the party going, man, turn the water to wine, man, I always say. I asked Dante Higgins the same question. And he hit me with one of the most beautiful answers. Mm. Well, shout out to Dante Higgins. You know what I'm saying? Really like, because he, he just dropped a new album. Um, and we was in the studio. Like, he was, I asked him, you know what I'm saying? Because it's been a gap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you've been away. Yeah. What, what, what do you think is going to be different this time than, you know what I'm saying, than you were getting originally? I'm like, man, I'm doing this for me. Mm. I love this. Mm. Mm. I don't give a damn if y'all tune in or not. Mm. Mm. This is, I'm putting me on this. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? I love and that. And hearing that, you know, I took a gap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying with Houston Trend because, you know, there was a lot, some things that transpired and I, I, pull, I just pulled out. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Paul. Um, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> But I'm on with you. I'm As on. I tell her, better out than in, baby. <laughs> better out than in. <laughs> oh Most man, it's, hey, hey, man, it's an inside joke, man. It was it was off camera, man. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay, <baby. laughs> oh man. <laughs> As I was saying, so yeah, I took a break <laughs> and zoned out, mm -hmm. um, trying to deal with a lot of stuff that was going on uh, mm -hmm. personally. Um, and honestly, man, um, you know, like this situation, and then my girl Jay Renee, mm -hmm. and uh, he's always right. They they kind of keep me going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is like, dude. If something's still here, what are you doing? Hmm. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you know you need those people too, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's, it's, you, you, you know what I'm saying? That support um, system. Jay Renee is a beautiful soul. You know what I'm saying? My brother, the light, he's always right. That was, that rhyme. Come on, now. That Come rhyme. on, now. <laughs> I ain't even been tempted for that. Watch out, boy. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? They keep me going. Yeah. You know, um, but, and even at the same time, when I kind of zoned out of that, I started other things, like yeah. producing podcasts. Yeah. Um, man. Because, That's Let me give you a track record real quick, man. 93.7 The Beat presents Beating Down Your Block with DJ Shante, the Donnie Houston podcast, In The Mix podcast, Hustle To The Top podcast with Mikos Adams. Young Mikos. Man, uh, 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 a couples podcast. Called uh, Burnt Biscuits and Cold Eggs. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and then you also, I guess, uh, you did your own podcast, Trend Talk? I had Trend Talk. Uh, okay, I had okay. Show. Shout out to Core 94. They, they got me started in my own podcast. Got you, got you. And, and one more, did you say, is it, is it, it says To Be Told To Be Told podcast? is to Gotcha, be told is gotcha, yeah. gotcha. There's, and so there's another one I'm working with, too. Uh, it's the Puff and Prosper podcast. Gotcha. So, you know... And so, um, yet again, that brings me back to wanting to help folks that are on this independent road. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I got a camera. Yeah, already. You, already. What are you trying to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you hey. want a podcast? Cool, I got audio equipment because I've had my own podcast, so this mm. one's just sitting up anyway. You can use it. Yeah. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. Like... And that's really how I was rocking with Ikem. Like, Ikem yeah. had me kind of getting in started. The mix. And him asking me in the beginning, like, yo, can you do this? 
and really me watching Q. Yeah. If dog, I would not be the video editor I am today had huh. I not watched Q. Guy yeah, yeah, yeah. Q guy in the code is called like, alone. No, yeah, no, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything that I am doing today. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so behind him, like he was working with I Kim doing the In the Mix podcast. Right on. Originally. Right on. And you know what I'm saying? They had just like, look, you know, they was like, all right, cool, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. So I picked it up and started, you know, learning the ropes, shooting what I kill. Um, and then I had the uh, beating down your block situation. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And that's like, it's like, okay, I see you doing this with I kill. Can you do this in the radio station? Mm. Yeah, I can do that in the Hell radio station. Yeah. Yeah. In the radio station? Huh, that's yeah. even, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. Um, that's dope. So, yeah, man, that was, and that was dope because Shantae was bringing in folks that, you know what I'm saying, were your, your rares. You mm, know what I mean? Mm. Like, you know, she started out with this kid, Johnny Bolt, and mm. that kid is, and, have you seen his stuff? Mm-mm. Oh, no, he's like this fucking rock star. Mm, right here. Johnny Bolt. Yeah. Um, she had Model B star in there. She had Doe Beasy. She had Rochelle Gemini. Already. Um, Shout out to Rochelle. Salamisha, Sonny the Rapper, Goddamn, um, ESG, Flip, Killer Calion, mm. uh, uh, shit, D Lo, Dope Man, ESG, Flip. Uh, man. So many people. Uh, wow. And Trilly Poke. <laughs> Trilly Poke. Come on, oh, man. man. Amy. From uh, Bounce and Turn, uh, da, 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 da. it's so many, it's so yeah. many, but you know what I'm saying, those episodes are still on YouTube, Yeah. Uh, so you know what I'm saying, if y'all just want to go back and watch those, watch some early, early, early uh, work, oh, those are up there, you know man. what I'm saying, but those were dope, those and were that dope. Is, I was man. learning After Effects, watching, you know what I'm saying, yet again, watching Guyton, learning. Yeah, yeah, right on, and, right on. Teach me anything. I feel like I can do everything. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I like that saying, man. I'm going to have to steal that one. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me anything. I feel like I can do everything. Yeah. That's it. And so... Okay. So how did so how did you uh, uh, wind up linking up with uh, Don Houston and, and... So Don Houston at the time was being represented by a talent management company, uh, mm. Heist. Okay. Okay. Um, and... You know, like so, and that's the company my uh, that's uh, co-owned between David Anderson and DJ Mr. Rogers. Gotcha. Um, so with David being there, kind of seeing like Donnie is going through this transition um, of kind of changing the set and whatnot, um, and just kind of really wanting to make his show, um, you know, like where like where he sees it. Right. Like it needs right. to be. We we talking. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, for you know sure. I mean? For sure. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you make it look like that? I can damn try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up. And now that's what I'm saying in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can damn try. And that's, but, that's, that's for us, what you do as far as your expertise with the angles and all that? Or, so, I mean, yeah. I mean, the, me. the, the camera placement, the... Um, like, Nope did the mural back yeah. there. So I oh, like, okay, okay, okay. You know, so Donnie kind of knew how I'm he wanted lie. the seats. Yeah. And he was like, okay, cool. You already got this set kind of set up. I can just add some stuff to it. So whether it being lights on set, all right, how do we need to capture this? Okay, cool. I'll put a camera directly, you know what I'm saying? We need camera A, camera B. Right camera on, C. right on, right on. Um, so sometimes I'll get to, you know, motion with it. You know, it's yeah. just doing everything I could. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then go home, chop it up. Uh, there you go. Little you know promos and all like, that. But, and so, yeah. but it, Donnie, as far as getting the guests, because he has tons of relationships with historical figures. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know so. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shot so many people up. he done had on that mug. I'll be like, man, hold up, man. No, Donnie, Screwed up clicking. There's Just not many everybody. folks Donnie doesn't have an interview with. Yeah, yeah, you know for, I mean? sure, like, for sure, for sure. It'd be, it'd be funny because I'll see folks in the comments, man. Man, you need to do an interview with so-and-so. Yeah, I got that one. It's not, I already did it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Go check my YouTube. I got, got three episodes. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like... Um, but those be the same folks that be like, man, I be watching every show you do, man. Da, da, da. Man, you need to do an interview with something. I 
I did. Yeah, you but you ain't what watched you all about? the shows. Yeah, but you, you said you watched all the shows. You know what I'm saying, but <laughs> honest to God, bro, so many shows that he has. I think he said like he has somewhere like. 380 or something oh, wow. like you know what I'm saying wow. episodes yeah. I'm, I might be wrong it might be more it might be less I don't know yeah but he's up there yeah and numbers yeah he's yeah he numbers. be killing it killing it you know views saying? subscribers like and all that you know what I'm saying so yeah. Donnie Donnie is like to me he's that guy like outside of radio yeah and today like it's it's we hold radio up to a, to I, a standard, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Because we came up with it, but I even, mean, even today, I dog, think podcast even today, is, is just as great, if not better, than than radio. Even <laughs> today, that's just my dog, opinion. Yeah, I don't feel like there is a radio show that's kicking his ass. Yeah, yeah, straight up, like, fuck straight you up. Because he 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 well. I know he captures all the stories that a lot of people, Though, you know, want to see has and hear. A journalistic mind for this shit. Bro. Yeah, he does his homework. Yeah, Donnie is sharp. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's not too many people that he's sitting across from that he doesn't know. Yeah, they hold like, track record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's not you know what I'm saying not just because he just researches like he knows them. Yeah, right, right. Gotcha, you gotcha. Know what I mean, gotcha, and, gotcha. And y'all just recently did the uh, the 50 year, yeah, bro. Uh, he put, he, he uh, and Bun D put well. that together, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that was something he was really wanting to do for the city. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like we can get into one space and tell these Houston stories. Yeah, yeah. That was, everybody's that was, here. Yeah, that was dope. I, I mean, I didn't make it. Any debate? But, yeah, it can be said on this stage. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah, everybody was. I'm talking about everybody Dog, it was, was like there, the man. Players, uh, ball yeah. in that bitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. Was everybody like, was there. Face all the players, everybody. all the hustlers. Yeah, <laughs> I often begin to try to name some people, but it was so Dog. many. Like everybody. everybody, your rapper's favorite rapper you know was saying? in there. <laughs> Jay, from J Prince down. Yeah, straight you know up. Yeah, straight up. And even before him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too many people that wasn't there. So what, was it anything where well, I'm sure, you, you know, you always And if they weren't there, we had them represented on the screen. Yeah, yeah, right on, <laughs> you know right on. So y'all I was able to do it because some people got awards too. Um, So they got some um, certificates of recognition. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. They got, um, it was uh, like... We as a city recognize you and your contributions that you have made to the culture and yeah. the arts. Gotcha. Thank okay. You. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know gotcha. I mean? um, so yeah. So boys, um, boys got their certificate of appreciation from the city and uh, Sylvester Turner. Yeah. Dog. I'm, I'm kind of upset he's gone, but that's another. Topic. Yeah, I know, right? Cause <laughs> man, uh, Sylvester Turner, man, like everybody got a day. <laughs> I mean, not, we're not just. I know he, not only he, that, he, but I'm just saying though, like he he really acknowledged a lot of people. Yeah, like, bro. He, like, you know what I mean? Like he opened up the door. Yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah, straight up, man. Straight like, up, folks that would never be. Yeah, in that yeah, exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like for Slim to say, man, I pick up the phone and Mary calls me Mr. Thug. Like, come on, man, man. That was his relationship. Come on, yeah. Like he knew who to get behind. Yeah. So, I mean, so Slime being in there was was a good time. Good yeah. Time. I'm interested. I'm interested to see how this new situation is going to be. But yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> That's a whole other can of worms right there. You know what I mean? Um. But before we get out of here, man, I think we pretty much covered everything for the uh, for the most part. Uh, oh, this this is a little uh, uh, sidebar I wanted to get into wrestling. Oh man, <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> so, I was I was so if I didn't have to go to the rodeo today, yeah, I'd have brought one of the belts. Yeah, no man, you ain't got the wrestling I'd, belt, I'd, man. I'd the championship belt. belt. I'd have had the belt for you, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what, what you saying? got one like with engraved with your name and all that no, on no, it? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Like, I'm gonna like, say, hold like, up. WWE puts together like the replica joints. Gotcha. So, yeah, right on, saying. right on. Yeah. So 
know what I'm saying? The Rock had that belt. Yeah. Stone Cold had it, but I want that belt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Just who your, who, your, who your favorite uh, wrestler of all time? Oof. Of all time? Just when you when you first said, you was like, man, hell yeah, I'm, I'm rocking with him. Like it's, it's, it, it's a toss-up between Stone Cold and The Rock. Okay, okay. It's a toss-up. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking. Uh, Maybe Shawn Michaels, depending on how I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the, like, the Rock and Stone Cold. Like, okay. those guys got me watching it because they were so fucking good. Mmm, mmm. You know what I mean? If so you, well, that, that's what got you. It was like their, I guess, showmanship and. I mean, it was the, it was it was the wild shit that was happening. Like back yeah. then, it was a lot of wild shit. Yeah, he busting beers over Stone Cold, yeah, busting beers over, kick his boss ass. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fucking rocking the nation of domination. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, they was going live. <laughs> Boy, Farouk come out and be militant as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, me seeing that, like, I'm able to see grown black men, you know what I'm saying, be proud on TV yeah, every day. Yeah, right you know on, I mean? right on. Like, yeah. Like, and not taking no bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a different time back then. Yeah. They called Vince McMahon all kind of crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, for real. Like that 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 uh that viral uh video with Book and T when he was say, oh, ho, oh, we coming for you, nigga. No, no. It was like, man, it was just raw and uncut, man. I no. think I mean he was, he was the only one I watched. Book and T was the only one I watched on WCW. I didn't care yeah. for Hogan, I didn't yeah. care for Nash, I didn't care for Scott. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he from here. I didn't even know so that. that. Yeah. That made it. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, these guys from Harlem, New York. Yeah, Harlem, cool. Um, what was uh, uh, what was the team called? Um, the Harlem Knights. The Harlem. The uh, uh, man, I just, I, cause I just met his brother recently. Stevie Ray. Yeah, cool I dude. just met his brother recently. Both man. of them cold as fuck. The uh, the Harlem. Uh, I, I think ah, it, you know, it, 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 it hurts me that I don't know. Yeah, no, nah, for real, though, no, because I, ju- I just met him. I did an interview with him, actually. With, uh, it was, with uh, Stevie Ray? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I did an interview nice. with him. Uh, it was at, uh, it was at uh, my boy uh, Murder One okay. event. It was right. at one of his events. What, was it a wrestling event? Uh, no, no. Hey, man. <laughs> nah, nah. It was one of his, uh, uh, I think he did an uh, event for K Reno. Okay. It was his birthday. I can see that. So he did a, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did a birthday event for uh, K and Reno. The boys is tapped in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Booker T got his school uh, out here, too. So. Who, a Booker T? Yeah. What? Booker T, uh, so he runs a promotion down here called Reality of Wrestling. Mm. Um, Brad Gilmore is one of the announcers on there. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And he, uh, Brad Gilmore is the guy that also does the podcast Hall of Fame with Booker T. Got, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Man, shout out to that boy Booker T, man. Man, I thought it was going to pull up. Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat. Goddamn Harlem Heat. <laughs> Harlem Heat, man. Mm-hmm. So you, do you still watch wrestling to this day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I stopped for a minute. Yeah, because I was I was working a lot. Yeah, um, and I just became uninterested in it. Yeah, it was like Vince different. McMahon, like Vince McMahon at a point in time was wrestling God. I, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, he's a wrestling God. <laughs> they had the spotlight come from the top of the ramp yeah. down into the ring, yeah. and Vince McMahon is in the ring talking like he's talking, and now he is wrestling himself. Come on, man! Like. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong. He's like, okay? what? This shit was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. But it's definitely entertaining. Once at the end it of the got day. to that shit, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just tap out, buddy. I'm going to just tap out. <coughs> but what brought me back was be, uh, uh, CM uh, Punk. Who? CM Punk. Mm. CM Punk brought me back. I don't mm. even know him. I've been on wrestling lately, too. I've been watching with Pirates, so I. Um, I've been checking out. I've been, right now, so he... Be Uncle Blah, though. I'll be, we be on the... CM Punk the, has, a, <laughs> has an incredible story. Yeah. Um, he is the match that pissed everything off. Mm. And what's, what's the name? CM Punk. CM Punk. Uh-huh. Mm. And, well, when I say pissed everything off, he 
was a catalyst for change in wrestling. Yeah. Um, it was at the time. Oh, and, this cat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have seen Chi-Town's him. Chi-Town's finest. Okay, I um, have seen him. He... And when I started watching, he was in this feud with John Cena. Like, 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 he was on his way to getting the championship. And everything he said on this mic was captivating. Yeah. And he was good in the ring. Yeah. And he was an asshole. Yeah, all right, like, come on. <laughs> all at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, he would say some shit, and you'd be like, oh, shit, dog, I got to hit you for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, Fuck you. <laughs> And it's like, you going to let this guy say this? Yeah. And he would say this wild shit and, and then kick you in the mouth. Come on. So. All in the same breath. He's like. Eh. He delivered this crazy promo in a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt mm, mm. to John Cena. Mm. And that alone changed the industry. Yeah. Like, it is, we're sick of the bullshit y'all have been trying to feed us. And that because at the time, like WWE, there was really no other promotion but WWE at the time. Yeah, like yeah. They, there was a little full small uh, small joints, but if you was watching wrestling, it was just WWE and John Cena was on top of everything. Everything was super PG. Yeah, like damn near rated G. Yeah, and it was just yeah, it was just bad. Yeah, and he was like this this actual sign of reality. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Delivers this crazy ass, they call it the pipe bomb promo. And I was hooked. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, The Rock came back. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm really hooked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> uh, and it was. It and was, that got you, that's what got you back. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. since then, this was about 2010. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and I've been watching it since. Yeah, like, ever since. Like, I don't watch too much on TV, but yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if I'm watching shit on YouTube, I'm watching, like, how to edit videos. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. That's how I am here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some Peter McKinnon or, you know what I'm saying, some Jet Potato. Or, yeah. Or else, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Just trying to figure out what's the new gear or what's the uh, what's the next. Yeah, you know for sure. For sure. You definitely have to uh, stay plugged in, man, to learning the latest technology and I mean, if you the latest it, ways to do different things if and you love shortcuts. you're going to figure and, it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's there. Everything. And thank God, though, for YouTube, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, I am a YouTube university. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Straight up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it straight has up. taught me so much because mm -hmm. folks are literally just wanting to give information. Yeah, yeah. Anything you want to know about or learn about, it's there. It's on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, hell, TikTok was educating me last night. Yeah, come uh, on, man. Come on. Goddamn. Um, I, and I don't know enough to even speak on it, but it was the, uh, ha. Ah, it was about the original beings here on Earth mm. that brought, you know, take, I, nah. They ain't talking about, uh, what was his name? Carson? Mm -mm. What's up? What's up? It's a word, and it's a very beautiful word mm. um, about, this race of people that was here before us. The Anunnaki. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm be on that too. That, that yeah. is, that's such a I'm good, on that too. Like yeah, that I like that. I like, like that word too. Anunnaki. Like, I, think, I like I, that I word think I too. I name a child yeah. Anunnaki. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Like, yeah. But, I mean, it's just stuff that opens you up. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Now, and I'm sitting there watching this stuff last night on TikTok. Yeah, I'm on a binge. Yeah. And this just sounds like some great information. Like, oh, okay, I'll, you know, I'll dive into this. Yeah. And it's just, it's you don't have to, you know, like, you realize you only know what you've been taught. Right. Right. Yeah, they're like I say, you gotta so, you gotta unlearn and relearn. Well, you take Kinda you take you take new knowledge. And you see where it fits for you. Right, right, right. You don't necessarily have to agree with what's being said. Right, right, right. Or maybe you're curious. Right. If it doesn't apply to you, keep moving. Keep on moving. If you're yeah. interested in it, keep following. Yeah, it. and do more research yeah. on it, not just keep the following the, the rabbit hole and see where it takes you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you learn something new, you become enlightened. Certain in that manner. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. 
Well, shoot, man, before we get up out of here, man, uh, I actually got a couple of questions, man. Uh, just just speaking on, like, like, like what advice, man, could you give to, uh, I guess, the youngsters out there, man, anybody or older, whatever that's interested in and getting into the field that you're in as far as photography, you know, the podcast, doing magazines, whatever it is. There's no problems. There's only solutions. Hmm. 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 Figure it out. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. Figure it out. I like that. And whatever it is you're trying to do, it doesn't matter how crazy, irrational, out of this world it sounds. Yeah. Figure it out. Hmm. Break hmm. it down. Hmm. To the simplest smallest term. Stuff. Yeah. Write that shit down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm like I've started really writing shit down lately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so now yeah. like you can't rely like, on you. Your brain always. Well, no, not, well, not even well I know that's like, for me. Like, <laughs> if I write this, if, so when I started um, losing, like not having batteries or dumb shit, like all right, memory cards, right on, right on. I wrote myself a checklist. Mm, mm. Now I didn't stick to it, like not stick to it, but I didn't, you know, what I'm saying continuously every night follow through with this checklist. Yeah. But the nights I did, it became, you know, what I'm saying just retention. Right. Do I have batteries? Do I have memory cards? Do I have extra right. batteries? Gotcha. Do I have extra gotcha. memory cards? Is, yeah. Is this shit happening? Yeah, yeah. Do I have another lens? Do yeah. I have batteries for my flash? Do I have my flash? Yeah. Do I want both flashes? Do I want some triggers for those flashes? Yeah. You know, do I want colors? You know, it's just. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You gotta, it, it, you gotta it run down you, your list. It puts you on before note. Before you leave the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And shit, bro. You'll never not have nothing. Hmm. I like that. I like that. And uh, my last question, man, is uh, just considering every you a veteran in the game, man. Pretty much everything you're learning, um, everything you have learned uh, in the game. Uh, like, what would you tell a younger Elliot Gidry? Hmm. Believe in you. Hmm. Hmm. You got it. Hmm. Just, just mm. know it, and you're good. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I sure struggled with that coming up because you always wanted some kind of. I wanted some kind of validation. Like, yeah, right. I'm right. I'm young. I'm right. clean my room. Mama, come look at my room. Yeah. It's clean. <laughs> Mama, I need the dishes. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, whatever little shit it was, but it wasn't the validation that I really needed. It was me knowing that I could do that. Hmm. And mm. I can keep doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever, wow. whatever like it that. was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I used to draw as a kid. Yeah. Like, and I got, and I got really good and then just stopped. Mmm. 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 You know what I'm saying? There's, and there's instances in my life where I'll get really good at something and just... Mmm. I guess because maybe you feel like you accomplished the goal. Maybe. I guess what you feel like in your mind. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a video game. You you know, you reach the end of the game. Yeah, like, kind of like one of them, yeah. All right, is there a part two? Yeah. <laughs> but, man, that's pretty know, interesting. That's pretty um, interesting. Yeah, man, stick to stick to your guns, kid. You got it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And uh, this one just came to me, man. This, this is my last, last question, man. I know you're you, uh, busy, you run, man. You can run this. Gotta, uh, this take care of what you got. But uh, just... Cause I, I like the fact that like like I always say your 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 network is your network. Mm -hmm. So like like what are, what are, what do you feel like the importance of uh, uh, networking and following oh, up bro. with people? Now, I just told Pirate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like dog, don't do not hesitate to follow up. Mm -hmm. Somebody gives you their business cards. Like this is also me telling myself this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, no, no bullshit. Somebody hands you their information, follow up. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you if this is what you do, mm. then do it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't wait for it to come to you. Mm. You do it. Mm. Straight up. That's you know what I'm saying? That's Straight up. that's And don't have no 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 ill will, because I know I've I've fallen with this one too, like feeling like you bothering people or worrying people. I mean, or, if you bothering you know them, they're gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, hey, right, hey, right. Hey, right. hey, hey. hey. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. Uh, uh, you know, like trying to throw your prices down their throat or trying to, like I'm just speaking like, on like I mean, advertisements you know I mean? and you know, like, things of that nature sales, too. You, you can be very ambitious with what it is you're, you know, you're trying to convey. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying, you can just convey it very simply. It's yeah. just, you know, how are you going to pitch yourself? Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes, right on. 
somebody gives you their business card, follow up. Hey, yeah. you know, you met me. I'm a photographer. You ever need somebody to do photography? Just remember me. Mm. Oh, you know mm, that's me. it. You ain't got to go into nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got you. Got you. Know you. I mean? And that's either going to be, oh, man, oh, okay, great. Yeah. Or, by the way. Right, right. We, we got, got this we coming got up. This coming yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, make we'll put yeah. you down for that. Yeah. You know now, I will say this. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you do, if you are terrible at organization, put that shit in your calendar. Mm, yes, sir. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Put so, it in your calendar. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. You got this. Okay? <laughs> you got this. Use it. Don't just watch bullshit on it. Man, Use it. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, Use yeah. this calendar. I, that's what I like. That's I I didn't I didn't shot myself in the foot like that before just trying to rely on my my memory. Nah, bro, don't do that. Don't yeah, do that. trying to rely on my memory. Oh don't man, I remember that. Oh, you said Monday we at ate, five o'clock. We ate oh yeah, way I'll be there. Sugar, sugar coming yeah. <laughs> Tricks tricked us. All right, <laughs> silly rabbit, you will forget this shit. <laughs> Straight up, though, bro. Lucky you ain't Charles, lying. No, You're my not lying, bro. Are gone. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Straight up, man. Fruit Loops, you're going through a loop. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I put this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what I came in here for? You know what I'm saying? You got to retract your steps and walk in the same. Yeah, bro. Oh! <laughs> you know, we was tricked. Yeah, we yeah. was damn, we was fooled as kids. Thinking, thinking that was the healthy, that was the, a no. healthy option. No, and this that way. was the option that tasted good. Yeah, exactly, you know exactly. That was oh, I like that. Please, yeah. can I have more of that. And go fix you some cereal. Hey, that was it's like that was <laughs> go fix you some cereal. It's a simple situation. And for hey, breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner, you eat cereal. Nah, boy. It's like no, dog, man. <laughs> dog. That's what I admire about Michelle. And yeah. The kids. Yeah. Nah. Get you with Apple. Straight up. Go get Straight you. up. And they be Shout happy to do it. Oh, man. Again, man. You know what I'm saying? Link yeah. and AJ, go get that Apple real quick. Yeah. Can I have an Apple? Yeah. Huh. Exactly. Exactly, man. It's, 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 like it's, a, it's, it's a treat. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed to be. It is. It you know is. You know what I'm saying? But we looked at it growing up like, I want that Pop-Tart. That was nasty. Yeah. yeah. Not that it was nasty. I'd rather yeah. that Pop-Tart. I, I want the Eggos. I want... You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, popsicles and you know yeah, I mean? yeah, nah, or, straight or, up or whatever it was. Yeah, so yeah, but that shit was fucking us up as kids. Yeah, nah, no joke though. And, and learning that, you know, later in life, man, you, you know, you paying for that shit. Yeah, you want to know why your foot hurt? Gout. <laughs> <laughs> Not even realizing, man. That, like I say, sugar is, is uh, worse than cocaine. My boy. That shit. Okay. But uh, but yeah, man, signing out, man. I appreciate you taking out your time, man. man. Is there anything, you, man, that we left out, man, that you want to make sure the people know? Um, subscribe to Donnie Houston. Subscribe to Rochelle's page. No, already. Uh, check out M's Up Milo. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Check out Puff and Prosper. Make sure you subscribe to this shit. If you if you watching this shit right now and you have not subscribed, what <laughs> is that support? Come on. I mean, is that really support? If you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed or hit a like button, or if you're watching this, if you made it this goddamn far, come on. (laughs) And you ain't hit that bitch yet. Straight up. What the fuck are you doing? You ain't doing shit but sitting on the toilet. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come on. You just hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? You're probably sitting on the couch. (laughs) (laughs) Doing whatever you You know what I'm saying? Put some goddamn clothes on, you nasty motherfucker. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Walking around this bitch smelling like yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. Stay Subscribe. Up. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that, that, any of these creatives that y'all fuck with, y'all have to fuck with them on this internet shit. Like, subscribe to their shit. Like they shit. Comment on their shit. Straight up. Like, they need that more than anything Man. right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, this shit is just like, you're spinning your wheels. Yeah. So if you really, really fuck with them, subscribe. Like. Man, do all that you, shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? Tell that. somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like at the end of the day, like, like that's 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 our bread and butter. Absolutely. Absolutely. If, if y'all not tuned in, we just sitting here doing this shit because it's cool. Yeah. You Come on, man. I mean? like, like you saying, cause we cause we like to do it and it, you know. You know, doing it's the like, pop, Yeah. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but if you choosing this as your as your profession, you want to be able to get, you know, yeah. what I'm saying? 
you know what I'm saying, that back. Absolutely. And then, you know what I'm saying, if you don't fuck with the shit, just say, hey, man, just be honest. Yeah, yeah. Don't play around you with it, You know what I'm saying? Man. And if you got some constructive, you know, criticism, feedback, just say, hey, man, why don't you try this? Well, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you need to do this. I don't know. Like, that last episode didn't hit with me. Maybe that, maybe the next one. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just keep tuning in. And I in. love that more than anything, man, the comments, man. Yeah, bro, yeah. like, you go through your comment section and see people actually showing active love. Man, yes, yes. Like, man, man, I got this out of this. I got yeah. that out of that. Or, you know what I'm saying, man, y'all stupid. Whatever, yeah, man, yeah, whatever you know it is. What yeah, they acknowledging it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, thank you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My Straight favorite up. wrestler right now, Roman Reigns, acknowledge me. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Not, not just on no bullshit, but let me know what I'm doing. Yeah. Is needed. Straight up. Because the moment y'all stop letting me know what I'm doing is needed, the moment it's going to be hard for me to kind of do this. Right, right. Like, I'm going to lose the interest in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It's going to be hard to stand in this space. Yeah. Because... You want to feel like you're helping people, or at least entertaining people, you know, getting them I through mean, the get, day. I mean, getting them something, something. You're doing something. something you want to know yeah. that you're doing something yeah. that is, is actively Meaningful. making the world better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, otherwise, what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's what I'm say. We getting better, we getting worse. Come on. Come on. And put your oh, put your handles out there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Gidry. E-double-L-I-O-T-G-U-I-D-R-Y. <laughs> Find me on anything. Yeah. I love that, man. That boy put it, put himself last, man. That no. lets you know the integrity, man, the type oh, no. of person that you are, man. <laughs> you feel me? You know, you put everybody else first, man. You uh, bro, it's it's may even forget about yourself, you feel me? Hey, it's bigger than me. The things that yeah, I Yeah, absolutely. Is bigger than me. Absolutely. You know I mean, like, if I can be that vessel to, to catapult something. Yeah, straight up. Straight I'm up. Doing my godly job. Like, say, be the, the spark, like Pac say, uh, spark the brain. <laughs> That's going to change the world. You That's feel it. me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to be the spark. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's it. Yeah. And there's words like that. Yeah. Made, made this. And see, you inspire me, man, just yeah. for the record, man. I know it's been, you know, a long time. I've been telling you, man, when you do an interview, when you do an interview, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I love your story, man, and, and you have a lot to contribute to the world, man. And, you know, like hey, bro, I say, I you inspire that. me. And, shoot, I appreciate you, man, taking out your I'm time, saying, man. man. I appreciate you having me on here, my boy. Already. And with that being said, man, we signing out, man. Yeah, tap in with the number one spot. Man, that's D-A-N-U-M-B-E-R, the number one S-P-O-T Network, man. Just Google us, man. We ain't hard to find, man. And we signing out. If you ain't at the number one spot, you're number two. And nobody remembers number two. Remember that, baby. And we out of here. Yeah.